Well, welcome to tonight's show. You're with Tom, Brian and Steve, and this is NRL from the sidelines. And we are going to review the last round of the NRL. Gentlemen, how are we today? Yeah, good, thanks. Yeah? Yeah, I can imagine... Well, I can imagine you're both pretty upset. I mean, you've... Don't put words in my mouth. I don't need to. I'm telling you how you feel. (laughs) This is... This is... You should be very... Yeah, we have to put up with... You're very hard to remain professional in this outfit, I tell you. (laughs) I'm sorry, did we ever reach professionalism? Yeah, without you, yeah. Tom and I yeah. are experts. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> On a lot of things. Gentlemen, it's right. been an interesting round of football. To say the least. Mm. say the least. There's been some really great games and some, some really... Very, well, okay, I was going to say average, but below average games. Indeed. Yep. What's been your highlight of the weekend? Oh... Um, as far as football goes, uh, well, this is a football show. Yes, the, the Broncos beating the sorry, the Dogs beating the Broncos. Oh, you stole my thunder. So well, I was going to say, is that been the only? Why have you still got the price tag on your thing? What? No, where? Oh, it can't tag. possibly have a price tag on it. I bought this at the forty nil grand final. There's no way it's still got it's a price like tag. The price tag still on it. Everyone can see it. I can tell you now. Okay. It's the uh, NRL logo. NRL from the sidelines. NRL. NRL. Keep saying NRL. NRL. We'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> NRL. get to very soon. NRL. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're allowed to say NRL because that's what the game is. But that's right. Anyway. anyway. Um, so your highlight's been dogs beating Brisbane. Tom, you say the same thing? I was going to say the same thing, yeah. I mean, I, I did actually tip the, the Broncos. I changed my tip at the last moment. But uh, no, good on, the, good on the Bulldogs. Yeah. I think yeah. they've been... Um, have been really, really solid for the last uh, seven or eight weeks. One hundred percent. No problem. Yeah. All right. So let's start talking about round twenty-five, which is the end of the regular season. So it's all done and dusted now. We now know who the semis are going to be. Yeah. We'll talk about. The My season. wife was very excited when when the game was on today, and it said, <laughs> "Last game of the season. It's finished. It's over." <laughs> Not quite. No. It's still a few weeks to go, but. All right, let's start talking about ANZ Stadium on Thursday night where the Rabbitohs beat the Roosters 16-10. Mm-hmm. A bit of a spiteful game. Mm. Some ridiculous decisions were made. Come on. Are, are we gonna, we had it out on Facebook. Are we going to have it out on, on this show as well, are we? Only, only if you be silly. So Sam Burgess gets a week for pulling someone's hair. Yep. But Cordner gets nothing for elbowing someone in the head. Well, he wasn't sorry And Takiyato so. gets nothing. He didn't play. Or whoever it was then, some guy. <laughs> whoever it was. Whoever it was. <laughs> some rooster guy. For he makes a, up names. For tackling a player without That's the ball. his credibility. He makes up names. Um, you can't... Tell me the name of the player who did it. You can't grab somebody's hair and wrench it out... Uh, I, no, it, no, it's, no, a, it's not, a girly defend, thing to do. I'm not but defending Sam. Sam. Sam should have been penalised. I get that. Yeah. Should have been penalty. I don't, honestly, I don't think you'd lose a week for well, someone's head. He's got form, and they just want to try. So, and stand is that out. why we do it? Well, because it, players have form, so we penalise them more. Because I, I think in the end, if if you if you're that dumb to keep doing it, you deserve to be penalised. He's pretty dumb. You know. Well, okay. You keep swinging your arm high. You keep grabbing people by the ghoulies. Um, oh, hang on, you don't keep doing it. He's done it once. Yeah, that's enough. Um, no, and then he's grabbed somebody by the hair. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> once is enough. <laughs> no, seriously. I mean, the, apparently South have made a complaint to the NRL because Sam Burgess is being targeted, which he is. No. You can well, say the same thing about Jerry. You know, you know the, the player that got taken without the ball? You know yep. why they said that was okay? Because the movement was too slick. They said it was such a good movement, there's no way he yeah, could have well. pulled out. Now, my argument is mm. that Marty Tapao hit someone high. Yep. So is the argument that his his step, the player's step, was too good that Marty had no option? Oh, I don't think you could talk about the same so, things. Well, well, but no, you've got to no, make that statement. You can't on, say it was too slick. Yeah. Big, big, big leaps there. You know what? The first thing is the big leap. Um, Tom is partly right when he said... Careful. When he said Sam has form. But you're you allowed to like. listen to me. No, I shall not. Tom, no. Tom, if, if Tom. you want to have a sensible discussion, you've got to actually let people speak. Yes. Um, you're allowed yeah. to get um, throughout oh, the season three fines. Yeah. Now Sam elbowed Matt Moylan in the face and copped a 
cop the monetary fine for mm, it. Mm. So you know what? He deserves to go for hair pulling Absolutely. because he's already Absolutely. used all of his right. freebies. Correct. No, I'm, I'm not questioning whether he should be... Yeah, you, are. you said it was worth a penalty. It was worth a and penalty. And nothing more. You know, I actually don't think that he should be suspended for a week for that. It's right. not in the spirit of the game. And it, that's the point. It doesn't matter. Like, you know what? That, anyway. that's, that should be a monetary fine. The problem is that, that Tom's right, Sam has form. And, and you, you can only find a player three times throughout the year. Let's talk about the game. You're wrong, but let's talk about the game. I am right. When, when did I say, what did I say that was wrong? Everything you just said in the last two minutes. <laughs> you notice everyone out there, <laughs> Souths, it's all, it's all different when it's Souths. Yes. Correct. All different when it's Souths. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay, let's talk about the game. Yep. Um, Souths down 10-2 at halftime, if yep. I remember rightly. Yep. Um, Tom, I know you've said that you didn't think the Roosters played well in the second half, but the South's defence was exceptional. Oh, yeah. Look, I mean, I think, I think to me, what happened was uh, the Rabbitohs were really good for the first 15 minutes. You know, the, the Roosters had to, just, had to defend very stoutly to get there. Mm-hmm. Um, we put on two tries, uh, what was it, uh, 13th and 24th minute, um, and that was good, but we bombed about three three tries, and part of that was defence. Um, but I think we also there were opportunities we missed. Got to the second half, everything changed, and there was a win- window there, forty seven to forty nine minutes, where you scored two tries, and mm. that was enough. I said to you at half time, I said, I'm really worried that we've only scored ten points when we had so much dominance. In the end, then we threw everything we could at you. And the Rabbitohs defended it because so, most of that second half was actually played down south end. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. There's no doubt about that. I mean, I think you know what frustrated me was that we had so much um, possession, and the Roosters couldn't get over there. Which is credit to to the Rabbitohs' defence um, in the end, but uh, it was Miss very frust- frustrating game. Mm-hmm. Oh Luke yeah, Kerry. absolutely, Miss Luke Kerry. I actually thought that you can't blame one player, but I thought that. Um, that Luttrell had a, a very ordinary game, and I think he missed his opportunities, and I think that was well, he, significant. He, he dropped, he bombed the most obvious of tries. Yep. I mean, yep. he was over the line when he dropped that ball. Yep. Brian, missed, you're missed shaking your head. Heads. Sorry? You, you want to make a comment about this game? Because he's shaking your head. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, not necessarily. I, I just, um, I disagree a little bit. Mm-hmm. I think that uh, the Roosters... Even though Tom said we're not resting any players because this is too much of an important game, they did rest three players. Uh, well, well, that, well, two head injuries and one had a baby. Yeah, but crazy. apart from that, apart from that, um, the Roosters looked really dangerous because have you guys seen the replay of the game? Uh, I watched. Yes, yeah, so I watched it twice morning. already. The Roosters, the Roosters, the Roosters looked morning. awesome when they were spreading it wide, um, going out, attacking from the wings. Mm-hmm. Uh, fantastic! It was it was great play. And and to be honest, Souths actually looked kind of helpless when they went out when they went out wide. And uh, I sent Tom a message uh, at half time to say Souths are only going to win this if they play it through the middle, because yeah. Souths were then trying to do the same thing back to the Roosters. Did you speak it, to Wayne Bennett at half time? Well, I must have. <laughs> um, bang! Half time comes. You. Souths play the Roosters up the middle, and the Roosters instead of then trying to go wide, like getting Latrell involved in the game, yeah. tried to go blow for blow with the rabbits. Hmm. Yet, you know, playing to playing to the rabbits' strengths did not suit the Roosters' game. And how good is Cam Murray? I know we yeah. talked about it. Yeah. I mean, he's and the more you know, I Wayne Bennett that. threw him out in the centres because yeah. they said he doesn't think anyone else is going to cope after Gagai came off. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I tell you, what, he was superb. Yeah, oh, that that, true. True. that that tackle he made that. At the right anticipation the yeah. that to be able to know where that ball was going, um, oh, that was super. Yeah. And uh, you know the handoff for uh, there was nil, there was a nearly a try to um, uh, Cody, uh, Cody not Cody Walker. Um, there was a th- three passes anyway, and yeah. um, the way Cam Murray stepped, got into a position to offload the ball to Cody Walker, sensational. Yeah, um, yeah he's a special player. Yeah, he is. Well, yeah. Look, I you know, I mean, we were there. I loved it, but yeah, you know. not so, not so much for me. Mm. <laughs> no, I thought it was. I thought it was a good, a good hard game. You're right, and it did get a little bit spiteful, but it did. And you know what? South yeah. ended the game. Two minutes to go, they were down to twelve players. Even mm. the bench was saying, "We've got no one mm. else to send on." When they, when when Reynolds was taken off by the yeah. doctor, 
So yeah, it was Reynolds, Reynolds who faked for a penalty, and then they went, "Oh, hang on a second, we better send him off for HIA because that's what you have to do." There was no do. fake. If you look at the, if you're actually watching, oh, the replay, I you'll watched see it. the elbow in his. If that was Sam, he would have been sent Excuse off. Excuse me, he slid his arm. He slid oh, his, he arm, his arm, arm up, hit him in the chest, and Reynolds stayed down for a penalty, and you deserve Bank. to lose the player. Sam got two weeks doing that last year. Anyway, let's move on yeah, to Bank West Stadium. Oh, let's end this madness. Let's go yes, on to Bank West Stadium, by, by where the on. Parramatta Eels beat the Manly Sea Eagles 32-16. And the um, man, the Manly were, were I was behind stunned. the eight ball from the very beginning, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Parramatta got out, what was it, nine minutes, they got out to 12-0. Mm. Mm. And it didn't, I mean, Manly were able to arrest that and, yeah. and get back into the game, but it didn't ever look like... Well, it wasn't for Fainu, you, you would have had no points. He, he was um, desperate and he, uh, he he just did it all on his own. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah um, I don't know what to say about that game. Look, I, I thought the last, the last, okay. I thought this was probably, until today, the most poorly refereed game. I thought the refs were, were pretty atrocious. Both sides, th- they just come up with some really dumb um, dumb calls. Uh, the one, one in particular, uh, Marty Tapao went to play the ball right in front of the post. Uh, Alvaro held onto his leg uh, and Marty got penalised. And South, and South, and Parramatta scored that, See that next set. See how much like South, you just complain about them all the time go on um and, and Parramatta scored that set um I thought that was probably that was that was the big turning point because Manly had a four-man overlap and were easily going to score if you could play the ball I don't understand how the penalty went the wrong way and um no doubt tomorrow at the the referee debrief uh they'll get up and say oh yeah they they got it wrong on that one but it doesn't help the team you know two days later to to say that mm-hmm. um Parramatta were good uh, Manly again came away with another slew of injuries. Mm. <laughs> so is Marty Tapao going to play next week? No, no, no. Even even though he's had two years clear record, he'll still cop a week ban for the thing that Sam got a monetary fine for. Mm. What about Kane Evans? I think there was a totally different situation. Uh, um, yeah. I, I, I don't yeah. think there was mu- as much intent there as... as well, not intent. Mm. I mean, it wasn't as careless, I think, as, as um, oh, look, Marty's was. You know, that, that's, see, that's the, that's the thing. I don't know. I, I don't think you should take a player's uh, grubbiness <laughs> into account. Uh, it was a late... They both hit late. Mm. It was both... Uh, both the, the, the players were falling. They both ran into a shoulder forearm. Both hit him in the face. That's worth time. There was a try to Manly in the second half of the game that they they seemed to keep trying to find a reason to award it to Manly. Yeah, I don't. It, think... it, it was it was a, yeah, it was uh, it was a knock on. They yeah, you know. Oh, so got, I don't, got, got see, the ground of the ball first. They went back and looked at the knock on. Just, honestly, you see that was another one. See, look, I don't get it. I don't think that was a try. I think I thought he knocked it on and Gutherson. It is. Simultaneously at best, I think you've got to go to the to the attacking player. But there was a but, knock on in the first place. See, but again, like it was just it was a terribly refereed game. It really was. I I didn't and I didn't not only not enjoy it because Manly lost, yeah. but I just thought it was, yeah. I don't I don't like it when the refs have that much of a of a uh, sway on the outcome of a game. So, it, it, and it certainly didn't work. You know. Obviously, Manly's injury worries are uh, well documented. Yep. Um, so, I, I thought I, I, all week I've been posting on the Manly website. I hope they put Ruben Garrett back to fullback and Elliot on the wing. They did that and uh, make a Silvo, Silvo ran over the top of him three times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I wonder. I wonder if there was a winger on the wing, whether that would have happened. I don't know, but how good is he becoming? He's going uh, well, isn't he? Yeah, yeah another really another Penrith reject. Now, unfortunately, he stole. Uh, Stole Latrell's uh, double. He yep. was going to get the double yep. first time since Mel Meninga, but uh, yeah, not but to be. He didn't deserve it because he's lazy. He had, so, a, he had a shock. Well, it, it, yes, anyway, I mean, you're right. Um, you're right. Yeah, so, so uh, yeah. yes. I was going to say, so South lose Burgess. We're a hard grave has gone from Roosters. Yep. You lose to Powell. Well, we're going to, he's going to defend it. He's going to, uh, he's going to go to the it, It's indefensible. I'm sorry, no. it's indefensible. I think I don't think he's got a yeah. He, it, he wasn't even trying to tackle. His arm wasn't down here. It was here. And I, he's think, leading with his I think we'll get off. If, if he if he gets off, I'll be spewing because I don't, I thought that was as bad as anything else. Well, I don't want to be clo- that close yeah. to you then. 
Um, yeah, let's, let's not be with Brown. Yeah. Spewing. Anyway, there right. you go. Um, look, terrible game. Well, well done, Parramatta, because um, I mean, they, Parramatta played well. Yeah. Parramatta if they can well. get their consistency, you know, would you would you believe it? I've had four Parramatta supporters either call me, speak to me, or message me to say, "Don't care, we beat Manly." <laughs> It's like, even last year when Parramatta get the spoon, you know what they would all say to me? Yeah, but we beat you. <laughs> you got the spoon. But that's what you say all the time. You say, as long as I beat Parramatta. That's yeah, true. Yeah, no, that's it's true. not quite like that. I mean, at least I have a little bit of pride in my team. Like, we beat Manly. Okay, let's, let's, let's fly down to Amy Park where Melbourne Storm beat North Queensland 24-16. Mm. Um, you'll have to forgive me from here on in because uh, at this point, being in New South Wales, I had a blackout. For the whole weekend or just this day? <laughs> Pretty much. It was shocking. Um, yeah, so we've had uh, we've had internet and uh, power problems. So we have. I'm going to have to let you guys discuss this game. Yeah, well, I, I was in the same boat. I only saw little bits and pieces of it because um, my wife had the TV remote and uh, my iPad wasn't working. I didn't get any picture. That that that's weird. I didn't have power. So, you, <laughs> so so what you're saying is I'm going to sit here and talk to myself. Uh, don't you usually? Yeah, yeah. Well, we don't yeah, listen, no so yeah. Listens. Yeah, exactly. Well, look, no, this, I don't yeah. think this game reached any great height. North Queensland weren't too bad. Um, mm-hmm. four, tries, were, four tries to three. Yeah, I mean, look, they, they, were, they, were, they were in it. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know whether uh, Melbourne took their foot off or whether they just, you know, and just cruised. Well, I think um, it was, it, what I do remember, I think Hopen it was 20, had a good game. 24 8, 24 10 or something. And I think the Cowboys scored in the 79th minute yeah. so to make it look a bit more respectable. Yeah. But, but Manly, oh, sorry, Melbourne never seemed to take it by the, the throat. You know, they, mm-hmm. they just, they got a lead. They, you know. Yeah, did what they but had But you know do. what? They didn't have to. No. They, you know, they, they had, had a to couple of players out. They knew they were, they were, they were going to get the minor premiership. They were awarded it on the night, which is a good thing. Yeah, Mel, um, 10, point, 10, 10 penalties to four. For yeah. Melbourne, That's yeah, look, it wasn't a. It, I didn't think it was an overly spectacular game. I've got to say, but you know what? Good luck to Melbourne. Well, Congratulations. No, nothing to play for. So. Congratulations! They are the minor premiers for 2019. Mm. They are indeed, and yeah. well ahead. Oh, yeah. six points. Yeah, sure. You know, well done. Yeah. Okay, let's go on to GIO Stadium, and this one was a was an amazing result. Yeah. Warriors 24 over Canberra Raiders 20. In Canberra. And it just shows what the Warriors can do if they apply themselves, yeah. you know? Oh, Raiders rested a lot of players. Yeah, that's that's true. They did. They did. Well, there was Bateman did, and... Um, did that work for them, though? It was Bateman, Rapana, uh, Yeah. Uh, uh, Leilua? Did Leilua get written? Leilua was suspended for oh, his suspended. knees in the back. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, yeah, look, I, I don't know. Did it work for them? Well, probably. Well, well, let me ask the question. And we're going to talk about the semi-final soon, but... What it means by them losing is now they're going to play Melbourne in Melbourne as opposed mm. to playing the Roosters in Sydney. Sydney yeah. What do you think they would have preferred? No, I don't think they care. I mean, they beat Melbourne. Maybe they thought, well, that's okay. We can beat them again. There's, um, I think that the two, the two standout teams all year probably have been Melbourne and the Roosters. Does it matter whether you play the Roosters in Sydney or Melbourne in Melbourne? I, I think it's going to be tough. tough. T- it's a tougher travel to take on Melbourne down there than it is yeah, to play when you're in Canberra. Mm. Do you care? Oh, but no, but no. the a- atmosphere in Amy Park is pretty intimidating. Yeah. Many times. So um, anyway, it was uh, Lock and Croker's fault they lost anyway. You mean Jared? Oh yeah, Jared. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, Lock and Croker. That's the manly one. Yeah, Jared Croker's fault they lost. Why was that? Why? Yeah. He only kicked one out of four. Okay. He that, kicks. That's why I got such bad super coach points from <laughs> And Isaac Luke kicked four. Yeah. Uh, Isaac four Luke. Four. Apparently rumoured talking to Manly. Mm. And mm. I think that'd be a great pickup for Manly, I really do. Mm. I know you've got your young guy there, but I but, but you've but you've been but you've been playing both both hookers in the game in oh, I don't think they'll play Isaac Luke next year. I think that he'll be there uh, in in reserves and uh, on the fringe. Yeah, but that's well, that'd that's be just a waste. waste. Mm. That'd be a waste for Isaac to go there. Yeah, because he's getting well, to an age where well, he probably can't be your starting hooker. No, but you know what? I, well, he's in his late thirties. The Tigers or something. He's in his. The Tigers don't want him. Mm. No one wants him. No, yeah, like you know, realistically, look, mm. I, I, I like Isaac Luke when um, 
When he was at uh, yeah. Souths, he was absolutely setting the world on fire. Uh, I think I think uh, if he does come to Manly, it's only because uh, Appy Coruscant has been uh, well documented as a, as a great mentor to young uh, Mansi Fanoa, and I think that that's why they're bringing in Isaac Luke. I don't I don't think he's going to be realistically uh, pushing for a first grade spot. Well I, well, I think that's a shame, and I think it's a waste of his time. Yeah. Hudson but, Young. Mm. Well, George Burgess Burgess <laughs> got nine weeks. Yep. So yeah. this guy's and this got to be is gone his for second offence in the same year. This guy's got to be gone well, for twelve. Can, can I just can I just make a comment on that? Yes. The player who who he uh, supposed let's allegedly allegedly gouged, allegedly gouged uh, has come out and said what? I didn't feel anything on my face or a finger in my eye. Visibly though, the evidence is pretty damning. Yeah, but. Oh, and, and, oh, and it's like he had two goes. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not suggesting that he didn't massage his face. Yeah. But when the player who is supposedly gouged actually defends, I think that that is. Um, but it, but is that? I mean, you know, you could find out that they played junior football together and that they're, they're best mates. You know, is that a that a justification, or should you let the governing body? No, I do think something about no, it? I think I think in an incident like this, you've just got a. I look. I don't know. I'm glad I'm not making the call. Yeah. I, I I personally would 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 go on the the evidence of the player that was uh, allegedly attacked. I um, think I'm and, a... and 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 the the medical evidence from that. I mean, yeah. St- Steve and I being uh, old old uh, football supporters, we, we we would remember eye gouges where you know where there were dislodged corneas and. You know, they'd, they'd get up and they'd be, you know, the side of their face would be bloody where fingers would come in. Mm. You know, I don't know whether, you know, when a player gets up and he says, there was nothing, you know, I, I didn't even know. I didn't even realise. I, yeah. I think was, you, you kind of got to... Is that just because he actually failed in his well, attempt? And it, it seemed clear that he was trying to get yeah. his fingers in his eye. Well, camera angles are, are a difficult thing to judge, though, when you're looking at that sort of thing, too. So, But yeah. let's talk about the Warriors. Where do they go from here? Uh, I mean, they've been very disappointing all year. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, it's the same story every year. Yeah. They're the team that gets cut when they decide to relocate and move someone. ANZ Stadium where the dogs... <laughs> stop that beat. conversation very quickly. ANZ Stadium where the dogs beat the Broncos 30-14. to 14. And the Broncos... And Seabold was furious. They had everything to play for. I hope they play like that next week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I don't. They're playing Parramatta. The Sharks. You're playing the show. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Broncos! <laughs> <laughs> Knock those slimy eels out. I mean, how good have the dogs been oh, yeah. these last few weeks? You've got to feel feel good for Dean Pay. I mean, he's really built a, a tough culture there um, with, uh, you know, less than star, star roster. Um, he's really got them playing for each other. Mm. Real belief, a real, real grit. And uh, yeah, yeah, I admire the way they played. It's been terrific. And and the other thing too is, I thought to myself, the dogs are really gritty, but they can't score more, score more than ten or twelve points. Surely the Broncos can score more than that. And the, and the Bulldogs come out and score thirty. Thirty, yeah, <sighs> unbelievable. Couldn't oh. believe it. Man, so, if on the Broncos, I'm worried. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, let, let's face it. At home, they've been quite good. Yeah. They've been reasonably good at home. Mm-hmm. Um, competitive, winning games. Mm-hmm. Uh, Away from home, they've been but average. They're gonna, and they're not going to be at home next week. Oh, they're going to be at a very hostile Bank West. Mm-hmm. So, um, okay. Tony Staggs, I just noticed, scored two tries, and yet I watched the second half of that game, and I thought he had an absolute shocker. Yeah. He dropped balls, he threw passes oh, that went on. Um, and I really like him. I, you know, if we were looking for a centre, I'd be happy to, happy to consider him. I think he's a you know, he's big, solid guy. Apparently, but, uh, uh, that's who Manley's looking at. Right, Katoni. Mm. He's a quality player, but I he agree. had an awful game yesterday. Yeah, everyone's allowed to have a shocker. Yeah, yeah, yeah but so yeah. where to for Brisbane? I mean, they've, they've got to play a semi final next week. The, they're making up the numbers. Well, I was going to say that's all I think they're doing. The Eels will kill them. The Eels will run over the top. I of them. mean, you've only got to look at the enthusiasm between Parramatta and the Broncos this weekend. Yep, Parramatta were. Full of enthusiasm, full of running. <coughs> Broncos, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. They, they yeah. had everything to play for. <coughs> yep. Secured their eighth spot. Yep. 
you know, show that they can not just make up the numbers mm. and yet they turn into performance. See, like Seabolt that. said that the first set told him everything he needed to know. He said there was, I think, two, I don't know who, who started, the, uh, who, who kicked off or whatever, but uh, he said in the first set there was enough to show him that, the, that their attitudes weren't right. So did it, enough to tell him he shouldn't have left South in the first place? I don't know, maybe. Not that I'd take him back, but... He's always bringing it back to South, isn't he? It's always, always back in. Yeah. How long have we been doing this and you've only worked it out now? No, no, we know it. We're just, oh, letting, we're just letting our viewers know. Mm. Yes. Let's go on to Seabus Super Stadium where the Dragons won a game. <laughs> I did the Titans. The Dragons <laughs> won a game against the Gold Coast Titans. Mm. 24-16. Well, they almost lost it. For, for, tw- for those out there that are following Brian and he's, and he's Brian. Big, Brian and his big money comp, this was the game that I chose to be point of difference. If the Titans had won, I would have finished clear second. And earned what? A significant sum of money. <laughs> <laughs> did they finish second? I mean, did I finish second? No. Because did, you did you finish third? Uh, I'm, I'm just checking now because I don't... I, don't, I, don't, I, 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 got, I, I actually I cried when they lost. Look at this. Red Cross, Red Cross. Oh, oh yeah. I got one right. No, no, no. Well, I finished with... Why on earth would you have picked the Titans to win this game? I just thought oh. last week at home, the, dra- the Dragons yeah. have been awful. Um, <laughs> He's fought to get nothing. <laughs> I've been leading this cop all year. Look, look. They're all, dra- all Dragon supporters. <laughs> okay. Sorry, my, my bad. Sorry. Yes, I think so. Um, why did I, I look? I tell you why I picked the Titans. They're at home. Hmm. The Dragons have been Awful. have been desperate and thrown nothing. Their best player has been uh, McInnes, who was injured. Uh, there's just they just had nothing. Hmm. Yeah. And and you know what? The Titans were um, surprisingly good. Competitive. Yeah. Their 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 online defence was good. I mean, it was a sloppy game. There was mm. drop balls. Yeah. It was all over well, the place. It wasn't but good. Yeah. it wasn't good. But uh, I mean, fifteen against sixteen. Yeah. Um, it was uninspiring. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Titans fans. Where do you get? Where do you go from one of these clubs? Mm. Like last and second last. It was pretty woeful. But you, you, yeah, I know. But you know what? You have a look at the quality of the players in those yeah. two teams. And you can understand the Titans being well. At least the Titans are getting the at least the Titans are getting a new coach. Yeah, uh, you know, a fairly successful. Well, Phil Gould's coach. going to be looking at the Dragons apparently, but not at the review. coach. Well, because he's doing so a favour for his mates. So they say. say. So they yeah. say. Let's go. Well, on well hang on, hang on. I, I got a question. You said look at the Titans team. Yeah. All right. Did I? Okay. Yeah. yeah you, said, did. you said you said look at the yeah. Titans team. At least the Dragons have some class. Yep. Yeah. All right, Michael Gordon. Yep. Retired. Not not bad, but old. Yep. All right. No, no. This is the place to play. Jesse yep. Arthur's. He's you know he's a good kid, but he's only yeah. a kid. Tyrone Peaching. Eh, first grade. State, grader, State of Origin last year. Brian Kelly. Yeah, first grade. Quality quality play. Philip Sammy. Yeah, I know, but but compare those players. AJ to... Brimson. No, I'm just saying. Okay, but speak Jer- up. Jared Wallace, Jai Arrow, Kevin Proctor, Nathan Peets. You know, not a bad team. No, not a bad team, but compare it with a team with Widdop, Norman, McGuinness. And, no, McGuinness wasn't playing. Well, no, but I'm talking about for the season. I mean, mm. when you could, if you put them side by side... Rizal. And they've got a much, much better team. Born. Yeah, look, but maybe. Right. I get your point. Yeah, the, they're, they're, they're a team of first graders. They're not just a team of, of stars, and the Dragons are a team of stars. Mm. As shown by their... Winning their semi-final in the Canterbury Cup today is which Barry means Crowley. nothing. Barry proudly told us, "Well done, Barry." Yeah, well done. Your reserve grade team won, Barry. Why aren't they performing in first grade? Got a, okay. two reserve grade teams. Well done. He's hard. So the yeah. loss to loss to Brisbane meant there was still an opportunity for them to miss out on the semis if Cronulla and Tigers drew. Yep. Never going to happen, but it would have been nice well, to have first, And a lot of Sydney was cheering for in them. the first half. I think it was. Uh, yeah, in the first half, it looked pretty close. I well, mean, was... let, let me let me just say, so mm. Sharks 25, Tigers 8. Yeah, so but at half first... time it was 4 all, I think. 6-4. Six, 6-4, four. Six, four. Yeah. yeah. And the Tigers hadn't scored a try. Yeah. Uh, they were, yeah, they were just two two penalties. Um, and then, yeah, there was a there was a bit like the, the Rabbitohs game. 
there was a short period of time where the Sharks went wild and scored, yeah. and scored three tries, and that was enough of a buffer to um, to hold out the Tigers, who just couldn't come up with anything. Yeah. Disappointingly. And Robbie Farrow got to come on. You could see that he wasn't running into the line. He was just passing the ball. Yeah. He was just, I'm glad he got Just on. feeding the ball, but yes, of course. But you know was, what? They yeah. put him on. They were down 10, 12 points anyway, and I think yeah. Maguire thought... This is probably gone. Let's yeah. get him on. Let's give yeah. him a, a hurrah. A proper farewell. Yeah. And um, did you see Gallon kicking a field goal? Which was a really nice kick, you've got to say. Yeah. Why? Um, Why would you do that? Uh, the game was over. Yeah, still. Yeah. Yeah. And, and in the end, I think it was a very last minute thing. He was in, he was in space. He yeah. obviously thought he'd like to have a crack at it. Because you know, Gallon's all about Gallon, um, which is frustrating. But, um, but yeah, it was a nice, it was a nice kick. Um, are you with us, Brian? Or yeah, I just got a message and I was wondering what it was, but that's okay. Okay. You okay now? Who messages me on, like, on a Sunday night? <laughs> anyway. Maybe your wife? Uh, no, no. Yeah, Dinner's ready. Let's go. It was it was a friend of mine just saying he's uh, he's praying for my son during his uh, HSC trials, which uh, are tomorrow. I didn't realise he was doing his HSC this year. No, he's in year 11, but they do a sandwich. They oh, do, a, they do a compressed course. So, yes. Uh, Note that Matt will listen because he's an academic and not a sports person. But good luck with your trial, Ken, tomorrow, mate. Yes. Good luck. Yes. Go, Matt. Um, yeah. So, Cronulla, impressive, you think? Or no, just, again, no, make up the numbers? No. Like... Oh, look, I think they've, they've been slightly on the improve the last few weeks, but I don't think they're up at the class of the top end. Of miss, they, they miss more than badly. Miss more than. Oh, gee, yeah. it's, it's, it's hard, isn't it? Like, I, I don't know. I, I think... The Sharks have the same kind of problem that I think Penrith have in a, in a, in a, in a way. It's that you've got all these dominant big-name players mm-hmm. um, and and it's nearly like they've got no one controlling controlling the team. Yes. So, you know, you look, you look at Souths and Adam Reynolds definitely has the final say. Mm-hmm. You know, you look at the Roosters, Cooper Cronk has the final say. You look at the Sharks, and it's not Townsend, but it could be Moyle, and it might be Wade Graham. Like, Sean Johnson. Sean jo- Like, it... Yeah. You know, yeah, it's, this, it's not... Strong, there's it? not an ownership of the team. Yeah. So, yep. I don't know whether they were... Like, I know they, they'd certainly miss Matt Moyle, and if he'd been playing all year, perhaps it would be a different uh, a different outlook. But I just I just really have the feeling that they're, they're struggling for a dominant player on the park. Mm. So... Yeah, I don't know whether they are just making up the numbers. They've certainly you know, got they've got class everywhere. I don't know whether it is a matter of them making up the numbers, but they're not playing very cohesively. They're not playing. No. Did no. I hear Fafita's going to England? No, Andrew Fafita. Yeah, following his brother. I hadn't heard that. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I wow. That. No. Anyway, so that's one me. device flat. Move on to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> to bring a charger? No. Nah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. In the last game of the season. Last the game of the season. season was... The regular season, yes. Yeah. Yes. Panthers Stadium, Penrith 54, Ooh. Newcastle 10. The Knights scored uh, an intercept try to begin with, and then from then on it was just all the Panthers. And um, Penrith scored about three tries while Connor Watson was in the bin. Yep. But Na- Nathan Cleary scored four. Yep. Beat his, uh, his father's point scoring record. Yeah. Um, but I'll tell you what... I'd, Penrith were, were looked good, but Newcastle threw nothing at yeah. them. Oh, I think Caelan yeah. Ponga had his worst game. No, no. I think, I think he's, had, seen. he's had he's had some shockers. Well, I, I can, and I said to Tom during the game, I honestly don't believe he'll be their next contract. I think I think he's had enough of Newcastle, and he wants to go somewhere else. Well, they tried him That's in the half. They tried him in the half at the beginning of the season. That was a that was a disaster. Well, he wanted to be there, yeah. and. Um, then he went back to fullback and had a couple of decent games and went to Origin, and since then, mm. he just hasn't fired. Well, you know, and he's been really bad in defence. I mean, at, at fullback, he's been really. really and terrible. all those stories about him asking for six million over four years. Well, he's saying he's not. Yeah, I know he says he's not. But you, you know, know it, it's interesting the way that I, I was watching the game and it, and I found it interesting the way that uh, he was uh, attacking the ball when it was on the ground. Yeah. Uh, he for the. I watch only a little bit of rugby union, all right? But when, when a rugby union player goes to take the ball, because you can lose it, they wrap their body around it and they hold on, mm. all right? Caelan Pong kept doing that. 
And I kept thinking, geez, he's very rugby union-like, isn't he? I would not be surprised because there's been rumours that, you know, know. rugby yeah. union clubs are after yep. him as well, yep. that that might be where he ends up. He seems yeah. to have that uh, that mindset rather than as yeah. a as an attacking rugby league yeah. player. Yeah. And, and that's why I say, I think, and I know he's still got, what, two years or something to go, but I don't think he'll sign with the Newcastle Knights in two years' time. I think he'll go somewhere else. I think he's only got one year, one year to go. That's why they've Whatever been talking is, about yeah. the contract. Yeah. Um, mm. But yes, you'd be... Yeah, but know. that's, I mean, that's very disappointing for Newcastle fans for your last game of the season mm. to go out. I mean, and look, they were lucky it wasn't 60 or 66. Yeah. Well, yeah. they've copped some really items good. in this last part of the yeah. season. So, you know, and, and yeah, no, I don't, I don't know what's going on there. And no. they've only finished just above the dogs. Yeah. Um, mm. and, and considering, you know, you go back, what, even 10 weeks ago, people were talking about Newcastle being top four. Mm. You know, people were talking at the same time, dogs being last. Yep. You know, wow. Yep. And look, I, you know, I don't know what Penrith do. They seem to be losing a lot of players and still trying to get rid of more. And Well, I think you know, what, what they're going to be faced with next year is a very young side. And, you know, next year might be a rebuilding phase as well because, you know, they're going to have Cleary, you know, Cleary as the captain rebuilding. probably. They're going to have Cleary as the captain. I can, oh, count, the I can count at least a half a dozen new players. They have Billy Burns, who I'd never seen yep. before. They've got To'o, who's new. Um, they've got Liam Martin. They've got yep. Bre- um, Brett Naden. Um, Stephen Crichton. Crichton. Um, Did you say Martin? Yep. Uh, the, the guy that's done his knee, um, Mitch Ke- Keary or Mitch Kenny. Yep. Mitch Kenny. Um, they've still got Luai, who's relatively new. Um, but, but you need a balance of it. That's team. right. You need that youth. So they're probably going to have to buy... Some wise heads, but they're getting rid of some wise heads. That's yep. that's what I keep. I've been you saying know, that about Penrith the last five years. It's great that they've you know that that the players that let let go like uh, Wacker Blake, Mikasivo, uh, uh, DWZ over at the do- like they've yeah. let really really good players go, which yeah, is yeah. fantastic for those other clubs. It is excellent that the Panthers have had what eight or nine new players this year come into first grade. Eight, eight yeah. debutants. Yeah. Eight junior debutants. Which will be good in a couple of years' time, but maybe not next year. But the problem is that they are, they're offloading players. Mm, yeah. you, know, you know who I thought was really solid in that game without being absolutely outstanding is uh, Regan Campbell-Gillard. He was. Well, he's playing for his career. Well, well they're saying, see ya. Yeah. And, I, and I'm thinking... Yeah, oh, but, but he's, he's playing for a contract. Yeah, because, I get that, but they've yeah. already told him he can look They've elsewhere. already told him to go. So that's why he's playing for a contract. He should he should be playing for the club. Yeah, that's right. You know? But I mean, sometimes just, players play for their contract. I just don't. I just don't understand. I don't understand. You know, the, what what the thing that cost Manly the game was that uh, against Parramatta was that they didn't have experienced heads there. Mm. You know, it was it was a young young blokes coming in a young back line. They made mistakes. That's okay. Panthers are in the same boat. Mm. You just need those old hard heads. All right, later. Okay. Cool. Well, at the end of the regular season, we have the minor premiers, the Melbourne Storm. Well done, Sally. Mm. On 42 points. Six points behind in second position, the Roosters. Uh, just behind them on th- in third is the Rabbitohs, and then the Raiders round out the top four. The Eels in fifth, the Seagulls in sixth, the Sharks now in seventh, and the Broncos in eight. There's your top eight. Uh, missing out on the finals this, this year, um, the West Tigers... The Panthers, the Knights, the Bulldogs, the Warriors, the Cowboys, the Dragons in second last, and the Titans in last, getting mm. the wins. And, and the, the 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 Tigers have run ninth, something like five or six times. Mm. The last and the new coach in it didn't change anything, unfortunately. Oh, no, but um, I think it did. Close. Oh yeah, I mean, I think that they had a, a bit of a tougher attitude this year, but it wasn't enough to get them into the final. No, they need a few extra, a few extra. Players, I think yeah. they'll do well. Next. I think they'll be there next year. Yeah. Okay, I want to have a little bit of fun for the next few minutes. We want to talk about what your top eight was. Yes. Well, at the beginning of the season, what did we nominate? And let's ask everybody else, Sally, all you people who watch the show as well, go on to Facebook, NRL from the sidelines, and put down who you thought at the very beginning of the season, who your top eight is, who was, and let's compare it because I tell you what, <laughs> I think a few of us have had a shocker. Well, I picked... Go. The Roosters. No, not in particular in any not in any particular order. Yeah, right? the Roosters, yeah. the Storm, 
the Panthers, the Rabbitohs, the Broncos, the Dragons, the Sharks, and the Knights. So I got five. So you got five. Eight. So I went South, Roosters, Dragons, Panthers, Knights, Storm, Broncos, Tigers. I got four. Right. Right? Yeah, I know you're going to ask me this. I, I'm, I'm going from memory. Yeah. Oh, this will be convenient. Very subjective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll get seven. Yeah. No, 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 no. Eight. Well, no, no. Well, I had the Storm and the Roosters. Storm, Roosters, Raiders. I think that was it. <laughs> Not the top eight. Because I also I also had uh, Tigers, Newcastle, Panthers. Manly? No. He didn't. Uh, Eels? No. Okay. And uh, Bronx, I think it was. Yeah, you yeah. didn't have South either. No, I, I had South and Manly finishing just out of the... I might, have, I might have put Manly in there just to spite Steve, but I tell you, <laughs> what a... Sh- Interesting season. So go on, go on, put onto Facebook what you thought was going to be the top eight and compare it with what it is now because I tell you, I don't think there's many people who would have picked more than four or five for this well, top eight. Well, when you consider it though, like the the smart the smarts were on the top four, but the team that finished last and second last have also finished in the eight. Mm. That's, mm. you know, that's 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 the, the surprise packet. You know, 15th and 16th last year. Oh, there's hope for the Dragons yet. Uh, finished in the eight. So who was the other team other than the um, the the Eels? Who was Manly. the other team? Manly. Manly. Yeah. Oh, you, you finished second last year. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I and knew and, you were and most most good judges would have put the Panthers in the eight. Oh, for sure. Along yeah. with with perhaps the Tigers or the Knights. And I'm going to put my hand up and admit, hand on heart, that for the spoon, I picked Manly, Para, or Dogs. Now, two of those actually made the top eight. Yes. Manly were battling for almost a top four spot. And Dogs were there Dog, once. Dog, <laughs> it looks like a couple of weeks away and from the, actually yeah, getting into yeah, that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I had uh, Titans, Cowboys, and Parramatta. Mm. So I got three out of the three out of the bottom four. <laughs> three <laughs> so out of the bottom Remember, two last, out of the bottom last three. year, two points separated one to eight. Yes. This year, uh, it's 17 points. Yeah, the storm are head and shoulders. Yeah, yeah. well, well ahead, yeah. well ahead. Yeah. Damn it! All right, that. gentlemen. Week one of the semi-finals starts Friday night. Mm. It is going to be a massive, massive week. Now, sorry, I'm just going to get my ladder up here because I haven't got the thing. It's Roosters. So, first game of the weekend: mm. Roosters versus South. Second Two versus, versus third. Three. Yep, yep, that's right. We're going again. We're going again. Sydney Cricket Ground, second worst place to watch football, but we're going again anyway. Where's the first? Second worst. <laughs> <laughs> Lotto Land is the second worst, is the last. Bro- Brookie is, is awesome. Uh, it's horrible. Brookie it, is awesome. I'm sorry, it's horrible. But anyway, we'll yeah, get to that game. It's not a great place to watch. You're right. Um, yes, so Brennan and Steve and I will be going to the game. Yes. And I expect it's a be fun. well. It's going to be fun. The interesting thing is, it's, it's not going to be the same two complete sides because there's going to be players in and players out. Yeah, um, you're always going to have players in. Players yeah, but but that that means we can't just say, oh well, it'll be pretty much the same contest because it's going to be um, some some yeah, different players. It'll be the same. When you'll get some for, you'll get some forwards. Um, we're getting Kiri and Brett Morris back. That's important because um, I think we really really missed Luke, Luke Kiri last week. Yeah. Um, and of course, both teams are going to be looking at their game and saying, "What do we do well and what do we do yeah, not?" So it's going to be a really fascinating game and um, another big grudge match. So, Trent great. Wayne, if you need a need a helpful tip, I'm available. <sighs> so South will get back one Burgess, yep. lose one Burgess, lose one Burgess. No, no, we're going to lose one Burgess, but we we You're still have Tom. Tom and George. No, Tom won't come back. Tom will probably be right. the second week of the semis. So you're swapping a Burgess. We're basically. swapping a Burgess. Yeah. So George will be get, back. Get one, lose one. Yep. Mm. Uh, going to bring back. Uh, Turner, Roberts, Cole Turner, Cole Turner might be back. Yep. Roberts will be back, which yep. will be good. Um, so well, Gagai, Gagai will be out. Later. Gagai is possibly out. Yeah. yeah. Any of your HIs, HIAs out? The only one that's that's questionable is still Liam Knight. Right. And you know, I mean, he got hammered by Hargraves. Oh, it was and a total accident. It was not an accident. And we could lose Hargraves, although I'm, conf- no I'm confident idea. we won't. You will. Um, we'll get Luke Keery back, we'll get Brett Morris, and we'll get... Um, mm. Orbison. Orbison. That's well, do, you, huge. Do you think it's worthwhile swapping Billy Smith for Morris? 
Oh or yeah, Morris is semi. Morris is a professional. He's he's yeah. fantastic. You, you like yeah. I said, you need those old hard heads in tight and games. And Morris has been sensational since he came back from his knee injury. He's sure. really been just working the ball out. He's creative. He knows how to finish off. Um, he's been a real ac- real acquisition. It's a pity we didn't have him more year. Um, but Kiri Kiri's massive. And I'm, I'll be hoping for a, a for a really big performance from Latrell because I think that down that left side, he needs to fire. You no. know, I'm you know, hoping they'll talk. You, to you him. do you do realize the rumor all week is that legitimately South Souths are making a massive offer for him, a million dollars. Yeah, and then, no, I heard someone's making an offer. I don't I don't hear that it's well, South. No, the, the no, we've, is, we've heard. Well, I've heard yeah, South yeah. because you've got your yeah, your money because. Oh, Greg Inglis is uh, all the way off our books now. Yeah, I mean, you're not paying him. Oh, well, I was just saying that was a distraction. No, no, he, comes out of the, he comes out of the money for coaches. He doesn't come out of players. They were, the same, they were saying that was a distraction for him last week. Um, and, and he's, he's signed now with, a, with an Indigenous agent, um, and, uh, and he's, he's got his foot in the door at, at, yeah. at, at, at Rabbit Either, at, either um, way, uh, look, L- Luttrell, when he's on, is on. Yeah. Like, he's unstoppable. Mm. But you know what? If you're going to pay a bloke that much money, mm. you want him on every oh, week. I, I want, I want mm. Latrell to finish his career there, but if he if he doesn't want to be there, like any player, I, I don't believe he'll leave. I, I don't. Know. I don't. I don't believe. I don't think Politis will let him go. Mm. I don't think more but brown but paper bags and the end, sombrero. No, no, but the end, if a player is ha- unhappy, <laughs> you can't. Be, <laughs> no, I know. I yeah. also, I also, I also heard unhappy. this a lot. I also heard this a lot. Cooper Cronk signing for the love of the game. He's signing on a minimum contract. <laughs> and now he's retiring. Are oh, we going to have another 800 when Cooper goes? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you guys exactly. have no idea. All right, so I'm going Roosters. Steve's going Rabbitohs? I'm, I'm actually going Roosters. Okay. Really? I'm, yeah, I am actually. Mm. I, I think, uh, yeah, I think with their, their ins, I think Sam out is big, and I think that... Uh, their ins are And I think we played huge. uncharacteristically last week. I, uh, I don't think that's our normal game. But I, think I do. Said, but you've always... You've said I all, do. You've said that all year. All we're, year. we're fading out of games. We can't finish off. We, mm. ne- we need to We need to stay in the, our heads in the game. Yep. I think I think that you guys are uh, the second best team this year. Sorry. And, and you've said all year that, that you, you, you let them play... Or you play to how you let them play. Mm. So mm. the same thing. South... South played so well, mm. that was as yeah. good as you could get on the day. You, you guys, it. like I said, they foxed you. When they started yeah. playing up the middle and you guys took a, took the bait, that was it. Yeah, yeah. It, it was, it, it, it's a sucker punch. Mm. It's what it was. All well, right, let's go on to Saturday. The second time. Let's go on to Saturday. Melbourne Storm against the Canberra Raiders. I the Raiders must be kicking themselves. This honestly. is a ripper. Yeah. This is going to be a really good game, but yes, I think they are. I think the, I think the Raiders will kick themselves having to go down to Melbourne for mm. this one. Mm. I don't know who I'd rather face in the grand final, honestly, because they're both going to be tough sides to beat. But um, I'd love to see the Storm have to go the hard way, honestly, because they get they get well they earn they earn the right to have all these these opportunities. But it'd be nice to see them lose and have to work their way back in. What's wrong? I was working out if Storm lose who and Manly play? win, <laughs> who do they play? It's not us. It's Parramatta. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. Let's, let's worry about that next. Yeah, okay. Year. So, Go the Raiders! Do the Raiders have a realistic <laughs> chance of winning in Melbourne, is the question. I think they yeah. have a realistic chance. I don't think they mm. will win, though. Mm. Yeah. Look, I, I think anyone has a realistic chance. Souths have a realistic chance to beat the, Ra- the Roosters, but... Yeah, but that's not really going to happen. <laughs> I think yeah. it will, but... Uh, know, I, I think the Storm will win. I'm happy uh, to lose this one to beat them in the grand final, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Melbourne? Look, I'm going Melbourne. Yeah, look, I, I have to go Melbourne in Melbourne just because of their form. Um, but I think it'll be a really tight game. I think it'll be a brutal game. And um, it'll go down to the wire. Is Munster back? Uh, I don't yeah. I haven't heard yet. But if Munster's that, back, I'm going Melbourne. They, they will have to have him back if he's well enough. I yeah. mean, they won't rest him again. Well, yeah, George put him in the next week. <laughs> and it is next week. Yeah, look, I, I'm, I'm only going to go Melbourne if they're at full strength and Munster's playing. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Manly Cronulla at Lotto Land. Honestly, it's, why it's would you line, play a semi final at Lotto Land? It's a bit of a line ball, I've got to say. Uh, I think, no, no, because we've now lost uh, out of that last match against Parramatta. Uh, Curtis Sirenen. Marty Tapao will be gone. Marty Tapao. Uh, Taniella Paseka. <laughs> so what you're saying is your season will come to an end next week. I'm, you know what? In Des we trust. 
But so I'm. So Derek, Des is going to have to dig up some. I look. He was asked in the post match interview, "Are you going to be able to field twenty one next week?" He goes, "Yeah, yeah." And I'm thinking, "How?" <laughs> yeah, he said, "I don't know who they're going to be." <laughs> he said, "I can How? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah I, you know, at the start of the year, the whole thing with Manly not making the 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 top of the ladder was depth, and that depth is uh at its mm. most stretched from all year. So. Yeah. I used to go manly because it's at home. <sighs> I, I, I'd like to tip. I'd like to tip manly. I really would because I, I don't. I, I don't have like any to, love for the sharks. I'd like to uh, say to the NRL that this is the dumbest game to play at Lotto Land, and with all due respect, yeah, I'm sorry, I know it's stupid. I mean, you'll get what twenty thousand people to that game. Yep, they'll get thirty thirty five if they played it anywhere else. That'd take thirty five thousand people. And yeah, so get if we stuffed. It, if we played it. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, get stuffed. I thought you were going to say, I thought you were going to say, it should be on Sunday afternoon and I'm, I'm about to go, yeah, yeah, you know what, get stuffed. Just because you hate it and you play at a solar stadium that's three quarters empty all the time and your little South supporters stand there and make noise all three the time. Three quarters, 90%. And then, you know, you stand over there and you like make your little noise and you spread them out so that everybody's booing, that's fine. You know what, get stuffed. <laughs> Uh, we, we don't say that here. No, we sure. don't say that here. <laughs> no, I've said it many times. Five times, yes. I, it is the wor- no, sorry. it's not. You know what? It's a great game to play. It's a great it's a great it's, ground to play at. You know what? You talk to the ex-players that are all in the media at the moment. They all say they loved playing there. You know why? It's because it's a great place to play. And if supporters like sitting behind poles to watch the game, Oh, fine. behind poles. Where have so, you been? When was the last time you went there? Yeah, when yeah you've got no it's idea. Manly, and, okay. South Manly Grand Final goes Grand back a Final. Years. Sorry, Let me say they didn't play Grand, grand Final or Grand Final. <laughs> Semi Final a couple of years ago, but tell me. It was like 15 it, years ago. Has it changed? Yes. How I much? don't know what polls you're talking about, <laughs> you nick and poop. Yeah, I don't mind watching it. At, I don't yeah. mind watching it, Brookvale. It wasn't 15 years ago, it was about 10 years ago. But, but they need the right to play it at their home ground. That's right, we earned that right. First round, oh, I think everybody gets, honestly, gets I, that. I'm, I'm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, Hang on. Yeah. Let's go to the See, next. I would like. That's to... why they're haters. Yep. So I'm. Yep. I'm going to have to tip, tip the sharks. I'm of sorry. course you are. I'm sorry. I know he is. I'm going to tip the sharks. sharks. Yes. Okay. Manly. By how many? One. <laughs> that's all you need. Four. Ooh, Manly by four. Generous. That's generous. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm sorry. I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hopeful. <laughs> okay, last game of, the, of that round will be Sunday afternoon where Parramatta play Brisbane at Bankwest Stadium. Yeah, look, I, I, I think the Eels should be confident in this game, honestly. Yeah. I think so too. I've got to say, I think, I, think, I think the Broncos, we've said Broncos are making up the numbers and I think this is going to be the end of them. The way the Eels can play, I think the Eels could make the prelim at the very least, I reckon. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I think they lose after, whoever wins this game mm-hmm. gets to play the loser of the Melbourne or Canberra game True. and will and will be kicked out they're gone yeah okay. Yeah. okay yeah I think so too I mean unfortunately that means the, the, the winner of the Manly Sharks game gets to play the loser of the, of the South Roosters <laughs> game so good luck with that too <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, look I mean let's be honest I think the grand final is going to be out of the top four I, I can't see Manly yeah. Parramatta Brisbane or Cronulla yeah. making the grand final so the, the grand final will come out of the top four. Yeah, the, the, one of those bottom four teams, if, if that, they would need to stand up and play beyond potential mm. for three weeks well, in a it, row. It'd have to be their best game all season. Yep, yeah, followed by their best game all season, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. I don't know. We, we've beaten right. all the top teams. It doesn't matter. It's all good. We can do it without Tom, Curtis and... And, every, yeah, and the other matter. half of the team that's not going to be playing without Murray. So it should be a fascinating yeah. final series. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's going to be, yeah. It's, it's, it's the exciting part of the season. Mm. Whew, and yeah. we're there. But we're all there. Yeah. How exciting. Oh, yeah, that's exciting. <laughs> all right. None of us thought we were all going to be there. Well, I didn't think we were all going to be there. I didn't Maybe. think you were going to be there. And I didn't think you were going to be there either. I expected, so to, there. Be, I expected to be there. <laughs> well, I mean, we're the premiers. We were favourites. I mean, I always expected oh, we'd so be let me ask a question. there and about. Yeah. Do, you, do you believe they will go back to back? The Roosters? Um, I think uh, I think the Roosters are susceptible to losses from the other teams in the top four. That wasn't what I asked you, but okay. And I, I think that Melbourne have been 
and this just oh it just leaves a bad taste in my mouth but they have been i think by far and away the best team all year so i don't think the roosters can go back to back i'm feeling more nervous than i was a few weeks ago yeah i i, mm. I think that yeah melbourne have anyway i mean i think we can beat melbourne on their day we've got to get there though and we've got some hurdles before then um but at our best, I think we um, we we can account for any any team. Uh, I was really shocked with the game we, that we played on Thursday night, and that's made me really nervous because we've got to do it again. Right. You lose, we win. We play next week. Oh, hey. not worried about that. You lose, we win. We play next week. It's all good. <laughs> well, either way, you should be worried. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> He had no expectations coming into the season. Yeah, he's no, got no that's expectations right. in the semi final. You've fun. overachieved. You've massively overachieved. Overachieved big time. Yeah. That's right. In we right. trust. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna end this madness. Anything intelligent to say before we go? Come on, go the Eagles. Go the Eagles. Go, go! I said intelligent. Go the Eagles, go! Tom, anything you wanna end with? Rabbit stew. <laughs> rabbit stew? He wants to end with rabbit stew. We're hunting rabbits. Roast, roast. Like I said, I can accept the loss here. We'll meet you in the in the grand final, and we'll move on. Well, he's given up already. Not at all. Not at all. Given up. Thanks for watching. This is NRL from the sidelines, and thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show, and we'll do it all again next week. See ya. See ya. It's a good dog bike.